I don't know about you guys, but during the winter time, it gets too cold out and I don't want to leave my house. That, and I'm a programmer, so a little bit antisocial. Nonetheless, I spent a lot of time relaxing and catching up on TV shows. I actually got into some anime shows I'd never seen before and I was pretty impressed by the voice acting. You know, the voice acting makes these little cartoon characters so engaging. You have no chance against me. And it got me thinking, what if coding tutorials were taught with this level of voice acting? If you're a programmer, you know that a lot of coding tutorials out there, people speaking multiple languages in a 240p webcam quality, kind of talking into a microphone that sounds more like a microwave. Then we compile program and run. So I thought it'd be a fun video to hire voice actors to teach an introduction to web development programming tutorial. I wanted the voice actors to be kind of funny and interesting, so I wrote a script and I hired a cowboy to teach HTML, an anime girl to teach CSS, and then like a National Geographic British style guy for JavaScript. I think it turned out pretty good, but I'm going to let you guys judge for yourselves. Before I do the reveal, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, Shortform. Shortform makes the world's best guides to nonfiction books. The thing I constantly struggle with is there's so many books and articles and newsletters that I want to read, but I just don't have the time. And Shortform's the solution to that. They're super detailed and they give you the key points at a deep level. And they have interactive exercises to help you apply the ideas you just learned so you don't forget the books like I do. As a programmer, it's important to keep up to date with new technologies and news about the tech industry. Yet every day, there's so many articles and newsletters that I'd have to spend hours just to keep up. So I use Shortform to quickly get information from these tech articles so that I know what's going on in the world every day without spending hours reading. Another thing with programming is there's so many resources out there to learn how to code right now, but not so many on communication and building relationships. One book guide I really recommend reading on Shortform is How to Win Friends and Influence People which taught me some really important things, like how to approach people with a positive demeanor, how to listen to people, how to make people feel important. There's a very wide variety of categories to choose from, like education, business, technology, science, and Shortform consistently updates their catalog with new books and articles on a weekly basis. So to get five days of unlimited access and an additional 20% discount off an annual subscription to Shortform, you can use my link, shortform.com nick, or just click the link in the description and sign up today. I was the sheriff of HTML when I was 25 years old. I had mastered what they wouldn't consider a programming language, but in my book, a programming language is exactly what it was. Some people like to get technical about acronyms for those things. Sure, hypertext markup language is the meaning. But what's knowing that gonna do you when you're face to face with the devil? Our story begins with an empty file. Of course, you need the extension to be .html. That's how your operating system knows what kind of file you're using. The first thing you need to know is that HTML is made up of a head and a body, just like us. Of course, HTML doesn't drink Jack Daniels whiskey quite like I do. <laughs> what goes in the head practically doesn't matter. Just a bunch of metadata and other bullshit. The only cool thing about it is the title, but the body. That's where it gets cold-blooded. You can actually get your elements to appear on the page with a little dumb luck and a whole lot of searching. Tags are the bread and butter. You need an opening tag and a closing tag for each element, with a couple of exceptions. Now you're gonna wanna look this stuff up. But it's pretty easy since what you see is what you get. Header tags give you headers. Paragraph tags give you paragraphs. Image tags give you images. And list tags give you, guess what, lists. The only strange one is links. You gotta deal with some ahref bullshit. If you want to add styles, well, that's where you'll need CSS. Well, that's it for me. I'm a wanted man, and I've got to go now. But I wish you good luck. 
CSS is my specialty. What does that mean? Well, wouldn't you like to know, pervert? Fine, I'll tell you. It's cascading style sheets, you dummy, and it's what you use to design your web page. You could do it in the same file as your HTML or a whole new one. But you should stick to a separate file if you don't want to be unorganized. To link it, just add a link tag to your HTML file. Writing the code for it isn't hard either. You use selectors to target HTML elements and property value pairs to apply styles. If I wanted to change the color of all H1 tags, I would just target the H1 selector and then set the property color to red. Red is my favorite color because it's the color of love. And you can change lots of things to make any kind of website you want. The property names are really easy to understand too. There's background color, font style, width, height, and a whole bunch more. But I don't have time to sit here and teach you everything. You can just look it up yourself. JavaScript is the programming language of the web. You might be able to create and style your HTML elements with what you've learned so far, but they won't be able to function quite yet. You'll need to create a new file with a .js extension. You'll hook this file up to your HTML file using a script tag. Now you're ready to write some code. You can declare variables, create functions for your website to actually do things, or you can use iQuery. Just kidding, never use iQuery. JavaScript is just like any other programming language, so you just need to spend some time practicing to get comfortable with it. Over time, you will learn that you can directly make changes to your HTML and modify your site's content diametrically. As you improve, you will dive deeper and deeper into the JavaScript landscape, and eventually you will learn about frameworks. Frameworks like React.js will make everything easier and more efficient. The server-side programming with Node.js will allow you to build scalable applications that you can deploy easily to the cloud. There are many different avenues to explore in the world of JavaScript, and as long as you avoid Angular, anything is possible. All right, guys, so that's what a coding tutorial is like with voice acting. Although it wasn't maybe the most educational, I will say that I was able to pay attention. So there is some kind of trade-off there. However, if you are more qualified, you know, voice acting script writer than me, you could probably make something really engaging out of this um, using voice acting and stuff like that. If a channel actually started like this, I think it might actually take off. So idea for anyone with a cool voice. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.